Hello everybody, this is TechCut, and in this video what I'm going to do is show you an awesome extension that you could use through KDE called Cronkite. Now what Cronkite, Cronkite is, is essentially a window manager that runs on top of your KDE Plasma desktop environment. This is a wonderful option if you are somebody that wants to start experimenting with window managers, but you're not quite ready to give up your traditional floating window managing desktop environment. Now this extension is great because it's simply just a small script that is integrated into KWIN, which is the Plasma Window Manager. Now if we go ahead and jump into my internet browser here, this is the GitHub page for this project. You have all the files and code here, but if you go ahead and scroll down, you could get a lot of information on the project, including the fact that it is heavily based on the DWM window manager or dynamic window manager. It supports features like multi-screen activities, virtual desktop, has a basic window management such as anything that you'd expect in a normal window manager. Uh, it has tiling, monocle, and desktop friendly layouts, and they're very, very easy to switch in between and the installation is simple, but I will be going over this right now. So this is just a install of a base Debian with KDE on top of it. This will work no matter what KDE Plasma system you're in. So all we're gonna want to do is go into our system settings and when you are in here, we're gonna want to go to the window management section. Here you can find the KWIN scripts. This is what we're gonna be installing. So under K1 scripts, you're gonna to want to get new scripts. So just click this button right here. And it's actually probably gonna be one of the most downloaded ones. So if I just scroll down a little bit, yep. At the moment, it is the fourth one. You see Cronkite right there. Go ahead and just give that an install. It's very small, it's already done. So now we could go ahead and close this out. And you can see if I actually enable this real quick, apply, it's gonna full screen this window because now it is in the um, desktop managing, I mean the window manager mode. Uh, one thing you'll notice, I'm gonna disable this real quick just before I configure it. One thing you'll notice is this, uh, there's no uh, option to configure it here. And it does mention this on the GitHub page, but I'm gonna show you how to fix this real quick. Let's minimize this for now. Open up a terminal, console will work perfectly fine. Let's uh, zoom in here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing, even though all I'm really going to be doing is uh, copying and pasting a couple things. I open that up real quick here in the background. If you go ahead on their actual GitHub and you scroll down to the um, section that says enabling user configuration, uh, this is a manual step you have to do. So it's as simple as copying and pasting these commands in. I will have a link to this in the description. So you go ahead, paste that one in, paste this in as a separate line. And now we should have configuration enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and close both of these out. It's not gonna display on here yet. We're gonna to want to completely close out our system settings, go back to our system settings, and go to window management, KWIN scripts. And now you can see under Concrete we have an option to configure. Uh, to do this, we're gonna want to make sure it's checked. Click the configure button, and here you have a lot of different options. I generally leave it at default, but you can disable some things like, let's say you didn't want the monocle layout, you can keep that at fully maximized. Let's say you didn't want the three column layout, uh, you can enable the floating layout if you want to, but that's kinda defeats the purpose. We have some geometry, so this is the gaps in between the windows. A lot of people like that, it looks really good. I'm one of those, so I'm gonna go ahead and input 10 here if I can turn on my number lock. Let's go 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Okay, uh, another thing is if you go under, actually, it's not under here, it's under key bindings. So on the actual GitHub page, I'll actually jump over to it real quick. If you go to Firefox here, we have all of our default key bindings here. You can change these to whatever you want. So if I go back to my uh, virtual box and I go ahead and apply this, it's gonna make it full screen. You can see around the edges here how there's a gap. And let's open up a terminal. So if I go ahead and open up that terminal, you can see that it moves it over. But this is kind of a bad example because this settings panel has a minimum size thing going on. 
So let's actually uh, show you this example with uh, a file manager. So the file manager opens up in full screen and we will open up a terminal. And then you can see the terminal and the file manager are side by side and there has the gap in the middle. And for example, some of the keys you can use if you hold down the uh, super or the windows key and uh, you could go J and K and that switches in between your active window. And then you can hold that down and go H to move this over here. L to move this over here. The whole point of window managers is to start using your keyboard for a lot of the controls instead of the mouse, which ultimately increases productivity and makes a more fluid experience once you actually get a hang of it. And if I go ahead here real quick and let's open up another window. Um, I know I'm using my mouse. I'm being counterintuitive in what, of what I'm actually saying. Let's just open up another uh, terminal instance. Uh, you can see that it stacks just like this right under itself. One thing that's really awesome, you could use that, uh, you hold down the uh, super key and you could switch in between some of these windows. And if you hold that down that super key and hit enter, it switches your primary focus window, which the default layout is right here is your primary focus. So I could just go ahead and switch over to my file manager, hit enter and switch the primary focus window. And it's cool because this is all done within KDE. There's not a whole extra desktop environment or a window manager installed by itself. It's just a little script you can run right on top and have basically the full functionality of the uh, dynamic window manager uh, within KDE very, very easily. There's a lot more control. So if I go to the super key and I um, use these buttons, I can switch uh, that way. So I can switch between last and first. Um, jumping back over here, you can see some of these. You could uh, increase or decrease, which goes up and down in between the available layouts. You could cycle layouts, toggle floating, set the master, use various layout options here. There, there's a lot you could do. And like I said, everything's configurable. If I jump back into VirtualBox, I'm going to close some of these out real quick um, because this is such a small resolution that something like this uh, settings menu has a minimum pixels, well, minimum pixel ratio. So sometimes with a small pixel ratio, uh, it doesn't really work that well. But you could go into your uh, shortcuts and you could search, I think it's just Cronkite. So uh, make sure I'm spelling it right. Uh, it's not showing up. Oh, I got to go under KWIN and then let's search Cronkite. Cronkite. So here are all the um, settings right here that you could go ahead and change. You could change them depending on your preferences. If you're using a window manager already and you want to switch to KDE, but you want all that same functionality, you can set it up exactly how you have your current window manager set up. Now, one last thing I'm going to go over real quick is this uh, top bar here and top buttons. Uh, a lot of people who run window managers like this do not have the uh, close, minimize buttons, or even the title bars for that matter. And there actually is a way to disable this in uh, uh, KDE Plasma. And it's actually pretty simple. We're just going to jump back into our system settings, go to our application style here, go over to window decorations. And we are, I think we have Breeze selected. So we just go ahead and hit Configure Breeze. And then from here, we're going to go to the Window Specific Overrides and we're going to add a new one. And then when you're in here, you go to the regular expression to match. We're going to go dot, asterisk, and then uh, we're going to go to hide the window title bar, just like that. Hit OK, hit Apply, and then you can see those window, window title bars are gone. Uh, there's other things that you could do, such as changing the uh, border colors, things like that. A lot of that information is going to be in that GitHub, so you could check that out down below. Uh, you may be asking yourself, well, how do I close things now? Um, I'm not sure the default command. It's probably uh, something like super all F4 or all F4. I'll figure it out. If I go to the uh, shortcuts, uh, we're going to apply that. Go to shortcuts. Uh, go to... KWIN, close, close window is all F4. So that's just one thing you'd want to do. You'd want to learn all the keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys to be able to do everything that you'd normally be able to do with a mouse. So just Alt F4. I'd eventually change that to something easier, but it's really nice because then you could like, let's open up a couple file manager instances. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal. 
Um, you can start messing around picking which one. Moving this over, let's say I wanted to close this, Alt F4. Now we're just in here, and then you can hold down and switch in between what you're doing. It's awesome. If you're somebody who's interested in window managers but not ready to make that leap yet, you could go ahead and do this, and then let's say you want to uh, switch back. So all you do is go to your system settings, open that up. Like I said, it's going to have issues because it has a uh, uh, minimum aspect ratio. Uh, go to window management, KWIN scripts, uncheck this, apply, and now you are out of it. Um, I'll go ahead and go to my application style just so I can show you how easy it is to fix this. Well, not fix, but window decorations, configure breeze, uh, just let's remove that, remove, hit apply, and we are back to exactly where we were before with our normal traditional floating window manager. So I do hope you check this out. Uh, window managers are great and I'm gonna try to start using this on a daily basis until I get comfortable enough with it that I can start looking at other window managers and go into it full time. Um, other than that, if you like my work, support me on Patreon. There's a link in the description. If you don't wanna do that, subscribing, leaving a comment, something like that is more than enough. If you did like this video, please do give it a like. I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, Follow me on Library. It's a great um, video platform. Uh, have a great day and goodbye.